the idea of technical training. People will often put their players into activities that will work on passing or dribbling or shooting or controlling the ball, all sorts of things like that. It's what I'll call a technical practice where a coach will spend a lot of time working with the players on how they're going to control the ball, shoot the ball, pass the ball, move the ball in whatever way that the coach has deemed necessary, likely from the game before. Now, If you were to set your players homework and say every day for this week, I want you to work on this, whatever that is, whether it's the coach has made a video of a skill practice that they want them to do, or whether it's a certain amount of juggles that they want them to do each day, whether it's a certain amount of passes and bounces off the wall, whatever that homework is, now suddenly the players are coming to practice. The expectation is that they have been practicing at home. Now they can jump straight into your practice without you necessarily needing to spend 10, 15, 20, maybe even longer minutes on teaching them this technique. Again, if you follow me, you know that I don't necessarily believe in a correct technique. There are better and there are not so good ideas on ways that we can execute. But for the sake of our youth soccer players and their experience, If I've sent them a task of bouncing the ball off the wall with one touch, I'm not really bothered how they're doing it. I'm bothered that they are doing it. So that when they come to our training environment, when they need to play a one touch pass for whatever reason, whatever situation, if you've got bumpers or if you've got players that it needs to be a one touch finish or something like that. Now, suddenly we have players that have become familiar with this at home. 